Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. I am Jack, your My Girl Budgeting Guru. <laughs> guru in the aspect of my own uh, finances. <laughs> but anyways guys, welcome to my channel. I am, of course, like I said, um, with My Girl Budgeting and basically I am, on my channel, we focus solely on me becoming debt free. Um, and finding ways and to be able to save money and make it fun for anybody who wants to you know follow along they can take that journey that leap as well and just if they're on their starting point where they want to go ahead and start budgeting themselves you know I, I find ways that are easy for me to budget myself and just make it fun you know it's just more about like this really, you know, with YouTube, it's an amazing community of people that just are out there following each other, supporting each other in all aspects of the way. But also, it's just um, finding those different ways to help you with your finances. And basically, that's what I did when I took this journey was to watch YouTubers and, you know, and... They all, you know, were following, you know, the same concept of like, let's keep myself accountable, but also, you know, f have those inspiration stories that people become debt free just by doing what we're doing is saving money. So that's basically what my channel is based on me finding ways to become debt free and not live paycheck to paycheck and also just make amazing friends. And I've, you know, I've started to, you know, make those connections with people outside of you know the norm so guys let's go ahead and I don't want to you know take too long with this video it is pretty much a catch-up video catch-all you know not so much I'm gonna be doing anything on savings it's just gonna be discuss what I have saved so far for January and February um, and then also just probably discuss um, maybe a little bit of story time I'm not sure because I know I haven't been on this whole past week um, I took a little bit of a breather from you know as some of you may have seen on my post I left my job of 15 years and just it's time to move on so basically <laughs> that's why I haven't been on and uploaded any videos but I am gonna be playing catch-up so you guys will be seeing that um, but yeah, guys, so with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. I do have my girl planner here. This is basically my own Frankenstein planner that I have created, gotten, you know, uh, things off of and made my own kind of binder to track my, you know, my savings. But with that, we're going to go ahead and jump into, we are in March, so this is our March. But I also wanted to go ahead and catch you guys up on where I am with my savings for where I ended at January, for February. So for February savings, I do have for both the, the four weeks, because I do well, two weeks on each uh, side. As you can see, I have one, week one and two here, and then I also have three and four for February. And for February, and that's probably why I kind of slowed down toward the end of February because the beginning of February I did hit pretty hard with the savings. I did a total of $469.48 for the first two weeks. Then I went into the last part of the month and saved $169, giving me a total of, I have it here, somewhere giving me a total of six hundred and thirty eight dollars and forty eight cents that I saved for the month of February so that is pretty awesome I kind of I did hit it hard uh, some of you may have seen I did close out complete some sound challenges to be able to you know go into sinking funds and then for uh, January and I sh I'm, I'm gonna try to stay on track with this so that I'm giving you guys a breakdown each month um, what I've saved for each month 
for the first week in January, first two weeks in January, I saved $180.34. And then we go into week three and four, I had 164 which gave me a total savings of $344.34. And you guys will see cents on here, the change, because of my penny challenge. I do count my penny challenge. Um, even though it's pennies and coins that you're trying to, you know, save up, it, it counts. Pennies count, you know. I always say, you know, every penny counts. Um, so, so, I mean, that's just the way it is, you know. So anyways guys, so coming up I'll be doing in my video I will be getting back on to my Roll the Dice Thursday. So you guys will see that video drop later on today since we are on Thursday. Um, and I can catch, play catch up with a lot of stuff. I've, um, as you can see for, well that's April. I feel like I have not done savings in quite a while because I did take, you know, a little bit of a... But we are going to be playing catch up with a lot of my savings for one I do have. And if you guys have not um, seen it or, you know, are new or, you know, want to know what this is, I am also doing the YouTube hop, uh, budgeting hop. So it is save money with the savings and budgeting community and we are doing a YouTube hop. I um, am in that for this month as far as I have a date that I'm going to be you know doing my video on but I do have to play catch up with these anyways basically this is Donna Power by Creativity created this collab where she is going to be taking youtubers across the board for in budgeting who want to be included in the video in this collab throughout the whole year all the way up until December 7th is when we will do the big reveal of what we've saved so far so basically Monday uh, Sundays Tuesdays and Thursdays we basically are saving six dollars each video and on those days so it's Sunday one person's doing it Tuesday another person and then what Thursday and basically you get a dice what a six-sided I mean uh, not a six-sided yeah six-sided dice and you are just rolling the dice each of these accounts for one of those numbers so of course number one is give number two is holiday number three is debt number four is self-care number five is emergency and number six is oh poop because it happens right and so when you roll that dice, you only take $6 to the table, $6, and you roll that die, whatever it lands on, you put that dollar toward each of the envelopes that they fall on. And that's all you have to save. It is for three videos a week, it is $18 that you would be bringing to the table. You do not have to do specifically that much if, you, if it's not within your budget. You can, you know, make it fit your budget and make it fit where it's you know right for you do not go into you know you know becoming overwhelmed because we are doing three videos a week to stay on top of these but I will be catching this up I will be doing a video to catch up mine because um, I know I was um, behind on the videos well not the videos I've been watching the videos but I've been keeping tabs on them so you guys will see um, that I do so this dashboard is specifically on Donna's uh, channel so if you guys are interested in becoming taking part in that and you guys don't have to pick up uh, I mean start from where we started because I think at this point right now we are at $48 so if you are watching this today as of Thursday uh, March what 7th we for the total of all the envelopes it is $48 and then they're broken into each envelope wherever those dollars fell and so if you guys do not have to play catch up but if you wanted to that's hot where we're at also you can just pick up where you know the next person is which is on Sunday the budgeting sisters will be doing their video upload uh, for this and basically you go get the dashboard from uh, Donna she gave this out as a freebie 
you A6, you can put it, and I did mine, I created my own little binder just to stay, keep these this separated from anything else. And then the envelopes, you can actually get them on any of our channels. Um, she, we do have the Google Drive uploads for these, so you guys can actually just go and, you know, download them. Plus, you also get the Ring the Bell envelope. So, with these, we are also, for every $25 that you, any of the envelopes hit, we will be putting a completed bell ring of $1 or however much you want. It depends on you. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, but that way we can start tracking how much, um, how many times we ran the, rang the bell throughout the whole year. So that's this process that we're going to start um, once we start hitting those $25 for each one. So guys, to go check out the Budget Jenny Sisters. This coming Sunday, if you want to check out this past week's, we had Willow Tree, um, Willow Tree, I have it guys, I have it written down because I knew my, basically, my, um, uh, memory would go. So, I wrote it on this planner. So, for this week, we had Sunday, we had last Sunday. And I have all the links, guys, of everybody's channel as well in the description. So if you guys want to catch up with any of these videos or subscribe to them, these, you know, you go, feel free to go do that. So last Sunday was Budget with Bomba Bear. And so um, this week, then we had Tuesday was... Tuesday was a traveling and saving chief, so she did it on Tuesday. Thursday we did Willow Tree Budgets, and then come Sunday we will be doing the Budgeting Sisters. I have a set date for mine. Mine will not be released until, I want to say the 24th. Yes. So I will be doing it on a Sunday, Palm Sunday, the 24th. I'll be doing the hop then. Um, so that is my date. And basically you guys can see <laughs> I have it ready for everybody else and then she is rolling into uh, April's month so she is getting the schedule planned out for that one so if you guys want to take part in that go check the, that out as well um, and so yeah that is it for that part now also guys I do have our Mickey subscriber train going on all aboard for March guys all you have to do is we are doing the honor code system with this but it is on my channel you can see it on my post uh, community post I did it on around the second I want to say but the blank basically it's a subscriber train for all those channels whether you're new up and coming or have been around you know everybody is welcome and able to uh, to join all you have to do is do the hashtag start on my comments and on that post and every all the channels will typically you basically must you must subscribe comment like my channel I will do the same in return if you are a channel um, I will go watch basically two videos and like and comment as well if you're a non-channel -ch sub, you can be included in that. Um, all we ask is that you go and subscribe to all of those people that do a hashtag start. I'm probably going to change it up for the non-channel, probably as far as like participating in this. So that way we can, you know, different, diff, diff, what is it? Diff, diff, diff. <laughs> don't try to say words I don't know. <laughs> it was there until it went away. Um, that way you could tell what's the non, which one's a non-channel or a channel and which one's not. Because I know a lot of them don't have uploads, so they just are, you know, specifically, you know, um, viewers. So that's, and we love that. So, but, and then you also invite your budgeting channel, other channels to participate. It is awesome because you guys, I have seen growth. I have seen people, you know, become friends off of it. It is a once a month thing I will be doing and that way we can gain our subscriber count. I love it. 
and I loved seeing the connections being made. So, and then from the list of comments who start, who hashtag start, each person will do the same. Subscribe to the channel, like, comment, and watch two of their videos until the train stops, which is hashtag stop. So that basically means when I do that hashtag, that final stop, I'm going to do hashtag stop on my, um, on that post. And then also that's whenever I will not be releasing any of the freebies. So the incentive, I do give an incentive each month for each person who wants the three page. And it's not three pages. It's actually six pages. It's a page of prop money. Basically, you can do front and back. Um, that's how I created it. But I said three pages because that's what, it's gonna, what I created mine for, which I'll show you guys. And these are pretty big. I printed them out pretty big just because for effect, you know, but basically you'll get, uh, six pages and it's going to be a thousand and, and it's three on each page, I think. So it's six pages now, um, 500. And then I think 100 is also the other one, which I didn't grab those, but you get the front and I like that. Hey, had a J on here because for me, for Jack. <laughs> But also you get the back end to print I got on the back end. So you'll just basically turn your page over. Once you print out the front pages, you print, turn your pages over and then you can print the back end onto it and then you cut it out. I did make them a little, resize them for you guys um, because these were, you know, larger than life. <laughs> um, money prop, but I like them. So I laminated mine. And so basically that is the incentive for March. So once I, the, and you, all you have to do is you have to email me. Um, and once you email me, then I will release those to you, um, on the download so you guys could have it. Um, uh, and these, it changes last month. I did the sinking funds this month. It's prop money. And I mean, each month I'm going to change it up to something else. So if you guys are interested in this um i've had a few requests for them um i know a lot of people make their own prop money and i know a lot of people you know already have prop money so it's just something extra if you want to have it it's there um but yeah guys check that out um and i think that's pretty much it for what playing catch up right now i will be doing again like i said later on you guys will see my um roll the dice thursday video so that I can because I have not done any kind of savings guys since the beginning of the month but I will be also doing my milestones I have quite a few Etsy's to catch up on as well as um what else do I have um my YouTube milestones and no spend I need to finish for Nova February's no spend I need to catch that up and pay the money toward that um, for the month of February. And that's pretty much it, guys. I just feel like I have not been up with you guys. I haven't been caught up with nobody since I haven't been on um, this whole week. But this is my savings that I'm planning out for this next week or two um, that I plan on, you know, I'm budgeting myself for. These are all my savings. So you can see I have my milestones and then all my extras that I'm going to be doing. I want to try to clean out, close out a lot of these so I can start. I want to do a friend's, um, either a friend's freebie, um, day or just a friend's chat savings. Um, because I have one going, I have a couple of them going, but they fit within, you know, within like miscellaneous rather than a friend's. But yeah, guys, so that's pretty much it, you guys. I I think I am done pretty much with catching you guys up. Um, like I said, I, you know, took a minute, a little bit of a breather. I do have another week before I do start a new job and my new, you know, ca career. But yeah, um, it was time, guys. 15 years. I mean, I loved working for the company I worked for. I was there for, for 15 years. Um, but it, it was like, I felt a little bit burned out from what I was doing. And there was a lot of, you know, things that I was, I was not 
you know, happy about anymore. Um, and it wasn't bringing me happiness. And, you know, like they say, if, if it's no longer serving or not serving you, but as far as making you happy, then it's time to move on. So that's basically what I'm doing. It was a big decision that I made in leaving the company. But I, you know, it's more for my mental state of being, mind, being, and then also just being able to, you know, make connections, you know, uh, somewhere else. You know, you, it's like, you know, when the time is time has come, it's come, and you just need to take that leap. And I didn't want to continue to hold on to something that just did not make me happy. It. And I, I, hate, I did not like the feeling of not liking my job. You know, I would go to work and I hated doing what I was doing. I hated my job. And that's what was determining of that. Because it was like after 15 years of being with this company and doing all I did. And I was very loyal to this company. I just always felt like I always had to prove myself to try to be something move up and and you know it was a losing battle i always felt like i was just i kept on proving to people that i can do the job and you know it always mounted to i was not the right fit you know in moving up in my career I and mean, i don't know um maybe i just was not liked by you know specific people that were in that authority to be able to give me that opportunity and you know a lot of people did fight for me uh, in my journey because you know I'm a connector I connect with people I always have and I always have been able to read people and make those connections with people because I mean that's just who I am and I think a lot of times here this past year a lot of you know I felt like they wanted me to change who I was because it didn't fit their perspective or their, you know, way of living. But I'm like, you got, no, that's not, you're not going to change who I am. You're not going to change my character because you want me to be a certain way to a certain people. I'm not doing that. So that's basically why, um, I was back and forth with it. 15 years is a long time to have behind your belt and, um, but also with that 15 years, a lot of opportunities come up and you just, I never, and I knew once I started putting myself out there that it was going to open that door and it did. And I couldn't refuse what I was being offered to be able to, you know, have some, manage something that I know I'm capable of doing. And so, um, so yeah, so that's pretty much, you know, there's, there is in-betweens that I'm not getting to and I wish I could say more, but I, you know, I just don't want is, you know, maybe after I've started and moved on from, <laughs> from this whole week and next two weeks, I'll, you know, be waiting, but, uh, I will get probably more into detail, um, and not, but I will say one thing my friend, one of my close friends did point out to me because I, you know, I was in discussion with my best friend and my, you know, my, one of my closest friends, um, about the, my decision to leave. And, um, one thing she did to mention to me was, you know, I, the 15 years I had, you know, I've lived and I've had multiple things happen in those 15 years of be, me being there. And one of the things that I noticed that, well, that she pointed out was the fact that when I got, when I started my job there 15 years ago, I was married and then I went through a divorce. And then after the divorce, I lost both my parents, you know, within five years of, um, you know, each other. Um, and she was like, I think you hold on, you're holding on to this job because it is your comfort zone. And it also, because you went through so much life changing things, being at that, you don't want to let it go. And when she pointed that out to me, that was one thing I was like, you know what, you're right. Like, 
I mean, I did go through a divorce, you know, and my kids were smaller, you know, so I was, you know, tortured by that. And then also, um, when I lost my dad and, you know, I, I mean, right around the same time I was getting a divorce, um, which I initiated the divorce, um, it was infidelity, you know, that drove to that whole divorce fun stuff. But, but also at that same time I was, I lost my, my dad and that was back in 2013. It's hard to say. <laughs> And then five years later, I lost my mom in 2018. And then through that, you know, I've gone through ups and downs, um, dealing with that. And then also last year, this past year, whenever I lost George, which, um, and which brought me to the budgeting community, really, truly it did because and that's whenever I was, it was back in June of 2023 that, and it, every time I've gone through somebody, you know, no longer with me. Um, it always sends triggers to my mind as far as like losing people like I mean like it's an, It feels like a never-ending story for me like I'm just losing people left and right, you know And it's always within a five-year span of each other. So I was just like You know it Takes you down a place you don't want to go through and so basically with that And I guess I didn't want to get into the <laughs> just of a long story but basically I mean I feel comfortable enough to tell you guys I've seen you guys are amazing and my post the other day I was they were like God you know it was just bless blessings after blessings and I just appreciate you guys so I feel like I can be able to say these things but after I lost him back in June um, you know I was getting triggered again as far as like it was just and my friends were like, I don't want you to take go down that path again. I don't want you to feel like you don't have nobody. You have your kids. You have you have friends. And you have uh, people in your life that care about you. And so with that, that's what brought me to my... Also to do this, become part of the budgeting community, was because that it brought me out of my... Out of a, a point where I just didn't want to go. Um, I've dealt with, I dealt with it, you know, and I, I, and I came to terms with it and it was, you know, but it also, um, it's those um, moments that when you're alone and you just start thinking about stuff, it's just, it takes you into that place and you, I just didn't want to be there, but also me going and finding YouTube, not so much finding, I've been on <laughs> YouTube, but it's more or less finding the budgeting community and seeing like how people are able to be happy because they're saving their money it's like you don't have to spend your money to try to find some things to help make you happy this makes me happy doing these videos and being able to save my money like i have been has really brought me peace of mind and really bring me brought me just very eye-opening in what i do with my money now it's not um i did live paycheck to paycheck and i was sometimes frivolous with my money but also I was you know you know I was making sure I always made sure everything was always covered but it was just like I can't continue to live like this and hope that I'm going to be able to feed my kids or myself you know and so that's basically what brought me to the budgeting community not to say I didn't I've been for years I've been watching um you know uh baddies Jasmine for years, but I did not know the extent of what was out there until I started clicking on all these different videos um, and catching wind of, you know, Raquel's Ray's channel. Um, and then I started seeing like Donna Power Ride to Creativity. I started seeing all Lisa Grateful Me. I started seeing all these channels. You know how once you start going down that tunnel, like just everything starts coming your way. And so that's what gave me the incentive to start and that's why I did because I I wanted to be able to be happy and then not be in debt and so that's why but yeah pretty much that's it and so me holding on to all of those things in those these years and all this years that I've had you know tragedy in my life I was holding on to a job that I no longer 
loved, but also I saw no, I was not being valued as, as an employee, as a loyal employee. And I was, it was just time for me to go. So that's pretty much why I, I made that decision. It was just like, if I continue to go back and forth on this and people, have, you know, who know me and I talk to, for, you know, about this for years, like I'm not happy, but I'm sticking it out. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to show them that I can do this and I've been able to do this. And then it's just one thing after another. And it was just like, I can't give my all anymore. I'm done. I can't, I don't want to for one. And I don't, and I feel like I've, every time I've done that, I've, it doesn't get me anywhere. So, um, so I wanted to feel like I valued, I was valued at some something or somewhere and I feel like I'm going to a place that's going to make me feel <laughs> exactly valued. They, I mean, it was amazing the opportunity that I was given and I was very fortunate to have a friend who was able to, you know, help me with that. So pretty much guys. Yeah, that's, that's it. Um, I, I didn't plan on staying on this long. <laughs> to give you that story update. It was just more or less, I wanted to give you my, what I saved and then also what I plan on doing. I am going to be doing, um, I wanted to go ahead and do my letter box, but I don't know. <sighs> Should I do it? Yeah. Let me go ahead and get those letter books out. No, no, I'll wait. I'll wait. Yeah. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it wasn't any money saving other than me telling you guys exactly what I saved, but also going through all the collabs. And as far as our money train guys, if you guys are interested in, you know, it is, it is really cute. The little dollars here, but anyways, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video of roll the dice. Um, I feel like I've had withdrawals from it enough and I'm ready to get back into it, but much love guys. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.